Hi, this is Janice Crowley, and I'm going to go over the acid-base titration chem lab event. First thing that you're going to need is a colored sheet of paper, hopefully, white note card or white sheet of paper. You're going to need phenolphthalein. You're going to need the unknown base that you're going to titrate. You're going to need some 0.1 molar HCl one or two distilled water wash bottles, a couple of waste beakers and pipettes labeled A for acid, B for base, at least two Erlenmeyer flasks, a burette for the acid and a burette for the base. I like to use a color-coded one, but when you're actually in the competition, you don't know if they're going to have them color-coded or not for you. So I always put the acid burette on the left and the base burette on the right. You'll need a funnel for each one of these, a ring stand, and a burette clamp. Now it's been my experience when you go to these competitions that sometimes your event coordinators have not furnished all these things. So you will have to improvise a lot of times if you don't have all of this. And you can figure out as you go along how you can make it happen with less equipment. But at a minimum, of course, you need your acid, your base, your wash bottle, your Erlenmeyer flask, your burettes, and your beakers. So let's go ahead and start with part one of this um, video. The first thing I want to show you is that proper lab technique. Yes, this is a race, but you also want to rinse out your burettes. They're supposed to furnish clean burettes for you, but you still want to rinse them with the solution you're going to be using. So take your 0.1 molar HCl, take your funnel, make sure the stopcock is closed. So that'd be perpendicular. You pour just a few milliliters into the burette. And remember, this is a race. I'm not racing right now, but it is a race. So you want to, as quickly as possible, swirl that acid and coat the inside of your burette. And then of course you want to let it out at the tip because of anything that might have been in that tip also is going to affect your results. Now depending on the event coordinator's rules, I would say normally three rinses is what you want to do. Since this is a race, I think one rinse is going to be good enough because they are supposed to furnish you with clean burettes to begin with. So, once that is cleaned, I'm going to go ahead and add the amount of acid that you need. So here we go. I'm adding the acid, and again, the biggest mistake is students leave that stopcock open. So I've got it perpendicular, and I'm going to add the acid. Carefully watch so you don't go over. That would not be good. I'm adding the acid till I almost get to that top line. It's okay if I went a little over because I'm going to have to let it out of the stopcock anyway. And I'm going to let that acid out into the sink. Now I want you to notice the tip of the stopcock. The tip is completely filled. If I had an air bubble in there, I would continue to put this parallel until I got all of the acid in there filling that. I cannot have an air bubble. That's going to affect your results. Now I'm going to put the burette here and I want to point out to you, if you'll zoom in on this, you can see that we now have a pretty nice background of how much is in the burette, the beginning volume. And if you'll go ahead and record on your sheets 0.85, then that is our starting volume, 0.85. We'll use that in our calculations later on. Now we're going to do the same thing with the base. We're going to have that perpendicular, and make sure, since they probably won't have markers for you, that you put things back where they are, otherwise you can get them messed up and that would cost you time, especially since this is a race. So now we're going to put the base into the burette and we're going to do just a little bit and rinse. And 
since I'm doing this as a video, I'm not racing, but you would do this enough where you feel comfortable that you can get this down pretty quickly. Always try to hold your glass burette over the sink because there are times that when you're coating the sides like this that you might have some spill over and you don't want to be spilling it on your feet or on your neighbor. Okay, now do you notice the stopcock is not working properly? It is not a steady stream. So you would immediately go over to the event coordinator and ask for a new stopcock, a new burette. And I am going to go get one that I know is working right away. This one has been rinsed, so I'm going to go ahead and add the base. my waste beaker and your waste beaker remember lets out what amount that you don't need and you make sure that there are no air bubbles. Now I'm going to turn this back around so that we can get a reading on this and if you zoom in on this it looks like we have a 1.60 reading. So go ahead and record that. Now we're going to go to part two video in the beginning of the race. Stop. <laughs>